Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Since the band Bon Jovi celebrates its 40th anniversary, I want to share my collection of Bon Jovi memorabilia as a big fan of theirs. When I was young, I had posters on my wall and I still have them in this vacant room in our house. Additionally, I have a songbook and a collection of guitar picks. And of course, the highlight of this collection is my cassette tapes of their albums. Bon Jovi released their debut studio album self-titled on January 21, 1984, which included the hit single Runaway, featuring studio musicians including bassist Hugh McDonald, who joined Bon Jovi in 1994 as an official member. The song Runaway was originally recorded in 1981 at the beginning of John Bon Jovi's career, then became a surprise hit in 1983 on a local radio station, leading to the formation of the first proper lineup of Bon Jovi. I have the vinyl record as part of my collection. This was followed by 7,800 degree Fahrenheit in 1985, featuring the hit single In and Out of Love. In 1986, they released Slippery When Wet, their third studio album, featuring chart-topping hits like Living on a Prayer and You Give Love a Bad Name, both reached number one. Their third single, Wanted to Be Alive, reached number seven, and the album itself reached number one on the Billboard 200, marking Bon Jovi's first number one album in the United States. The album was massive commercial success and marked the peak of their success. My top three songs from this album are Raise Your Hand, Without Love, and I Die For You. In 1988, they followed up Slippery When Wet with their fourth album, New Jersey. The album reached number one on the Billboard 200 chart in its second week of release after debuting at number eight. It remained at the top for four consecutive weeks. It features the hit single Bad Medicine, Born To Be My Baby, I'll Be There For You, Lay Your Hands On Me, and my top three songs from these albums are Living In Sin, Stick To Your Guns, and Blood and Blood. After an extensive period of touring, the band took a break which John Bon Jovi embarked on a solo project. In 1990, he released the album Blaze of Glory for the film Young Guns 2. Additionally, Richie Sambora released his first solo album titled Stranger in This Town. In 1992, they released their 5th album, Keep the Faith. Bon Jovi's last studio album to feature all five original members as bassist Alan Gonsach was dismissed from the band in 1994. It features the hit singles Keep the Faith, Better Brothers, and Indus Arms. The album redefined Bon Jovi's image and music for a new era, the era of grunge metal. This is my top one favorite album from Bon Jovi. And the top three songs from this album are I Believe, Indus Arms, and Dry Country. The band made an appearance on MTV Unplugged for Keep the Faith, an evening with Bon Jovi, a live concert that aired on MTV in late 1992 before the release of Keep the Faith. This is considered a real collection. Additionally, the Spanish version of Bedo Brothers was released as promo cassette tape and CD 
in both Spain and Mexico. This is another rare collection. Crossroad is the first official Greatest Hits album by Bon Jovi, released in 1994. This album holds a special place for me as it was my first Bon Jovi cassette tape. In 1995, they released their sixth studio album these days, the first album to release after the dismissal of original bassist Alec John Such, and the first album to feature Hugh McDonald as session and touring member on bass guitar. This is my top 2 favorite album from Bon Jovi, and my top 3 songs from this album are This Ain't A Love Song, Hearts Breaking Even, and If That's What It Takes. I have this VHS tape live from London. It was the band's first concert video and was shot at Wembley Stadium on June 25, 1995 in front of 72,000 fans during the This Day's Tour. Destination Anywhere is John Bon Jovi's second studio album released in 1997. It features music from the film of the same name Destination Anywhere, which was also released in the same year. Additionally, Richie Sambora released also his second solo studio album titled Undiscovered Song. In 2000, they released their 7th studio album Crash, updating their sound from the 90s style to a modern one with another monster hit, It's My Life. The album was successful and helped introduce the band to a new generation of fans. This is my top 3 favorite album from Bon Jovi and my top 3 songs from this album are It's My Life, Just Older, and Captain Crash and the Beauty Queen from Mars. One Wild Night Live 1985-2001 is the first live album by Bon Jovi released in 2001. It features live performances from all their hits spanning from 1985 to 2001. In 2002, they released their 8th studio album Bounce, which influenced by the September 11 attacks. The album reached at number 2 on the Billboard 200, although it became their first album not to reach platinum status in the US. This is my top 4 favorite album from Bon Jovi, and my top 3 songs from this album are Every Day, All About Loving You, and You Had Me From Hello. In 2005, they released their ninth studio album, Have a Nice Day. The album peaked at number 2 in both US and UK, 
for Bon Jovi fans, this is the best last album they released. For me, this is my top 5 favorite album from Bon Jovi, and my top 3 songs from this album are Have a Nice Day, Welcome to Wherever You Are, and Bells of Freedom. This Left Feels Right is a compilation album released in 2003, featuring new versions of the band's songs from previous albums. In 2007, they released their 10th studio album Lost Highway. At this time, I believe the recording company stopped producing cassette tapes in favor of CDs. I only have this DVD of live concert. After that year, I haven't collected anything from them, but they released The Circle in 2009, followed by What About Now in 2013, which the last album to feature lead guitarist Richie Sambora. In 2015, they released Burning Bridges, the first release since the departure of former guitarist Richie Zamora. I have this CD of This House Is Not For Sale which was released in 2016, the only CD collection I have. This is the first studio album with Phil X on lead guitar after replacing Richie Zamora in 2013, as well as the first album to feature bassist Hugh McDonald as an official member. In 2020, they released their 15th studio album 2020, and then just this year, they released their latest album, Forever.